I'm Tyler Doster with Awards Watch. Hi, Tyler. How are you? I'm good. How are you today? I'm excellent. Thank you, Mike. All right. Uh, start off, I wanted to ask you about a video of you dancing around to the Bee Gees. And I wanted to know if that is your usual go-to for a solo dance party. Uh, I do like the Bee Gees. I'm a bit of a sucker for a golden oldie. I know the video you're referring to, actually. Um, yeah, yeah, I like a bit of Bee Gees. Certainly for a dance around the kitchen, maybe when you're cooking, you know, that kind of thing. All right. Audiences know you for mostly being a movie star, having seen you in Kingsman, Eddie the Eagle, Rocket Man. What about this story reeled you in to want to do television? I think there's an opportunity as an actor to be able to, provided the writings of the caliber it is in our show, you know, there's um, a real opportunity to allow a character to kind of unfold and grow and change over an extended period of time. So when you're dealing with six hours, it feels like you can, I don't know, it just feels like you've got all that time to develop the richness of a role and to be, um, to add, you know, extra dimension and nuance. Um, so that, 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 that appealed to me about the medium, but also, you know, for me, it's not, it's not about whether it's a, a movie or a TV show. It's just about whether it's something that I would want to watch, you know, and mm -hmm. this absolutely represented that. I read the script and I, I wanted to, I, I, you know, I just found it utterly compelling. Um, so I was very, very, very excited and flattered to be asked to do it as well. What was your first reaction when you read those scripts? Uh, that it was the best script I'd ever been offered. And that I, you know, and I still feel that way. I just think Dennis is, you know, I mean, Dennis is such a celebrated writer anyway, but I, I, I just felt, I felt like I couldn't quite believe that they were asking me to do it. I, and that's a really nice place to be. Um, so I, yeah, so that's how I felt. I love, I just loved it. I still, I just think it's a great script. Had you heard of Jimmy's story before you signed onto this? A, li a little bit, yeah, a little bit. It, it existed in, you know, Hollywood for, for a number of years uh, as a potential movie and you know i think there've been even been other actors i it's unconfirmed that i don't know if it's true but there was you know i'm i'm pretty sure at one stage Brad Pitt was attached to to do it and maybe produce it through plan b i, I i'm not 100% sure that's right but it's what i've heard um so i knew of it um but i certainly hadn't read the scripts before they were asked they were sent to me and um i just couldn't put it down uh, I thought it was amazing. And I'd, I'd also seen a little like mini TV documentary that was done on the story where Jimmy was interviewed and spoke about his experiences. Mm -hmm. So um, I knew something of the story, but you know, what, what Dennis developed into the kind of rich nuanced character piece that it is, um, you know, was not something I was aware of, obviously. What was it like working with Paul Walter Hauser and Ray Liotta? Yeah, I mean, very, very different, um, very different actors with very different ways of working, but both a complete joy and two men that I felt very, very, very lucky to get to spend time with and, and build character relationships with. And um, and I had a, a tremendous amount of fun, you know. Sadly, obviously, Ray is, is no longer with us, and that's a strange feeling because it, it doesn't feel like that long ago that we were together filming these scenes but um you know Paul is someone I've really loved getting to know great fun one of the funniest people I know and um and I'm really excited for him because I think this role really represents a departure for what he's best known for and that's a really exciting place to be as an actor and I feel something of that myself actually so um I think we're both really excited about about the show you know finally being seen by people yeah, um, so this show is pretty dark. It can be intense at times. Did you guys do anything in between takes to break any of the tension or were you guys more focused on keeping that tension for when the camera was rolling? It really depends on the situation and the scene. So, you know, there are moments where I think Paul and I did kind of stay more subdued, but we also, I think, had the same instinct about the times to cut loose, be a little bit silly. You know, you don't, I don't think if you, you know, what happened, what is important, my, I am a big believer that what is important is what happens when someone calls action. So what's happening before is sort of not really very important. I, and, and if, you know, and I think often too much time is spent talking about it, but, um, 
you know, we would often be quite silly just to actually break the tension because when you're doing something like this for six months, it gets a lot. So Paul and I did lots of sort of, you know, he's a he's a proper raconteur and a real, you know, joke teller, but we did lots of silly singing and and we'd hang out as well away from set and mm -hmm. just do like light, easy, normal stuff, you know, for like watching silly kids movies and things just so that we got a bit of a break from all the darkness. Wait, did you have a specific process for getting into this character? Um, not really. I mean, generally, you know, I find that if I'm, if I'm, if I'm actively engaged with, my scene partner and listening, I don't really feel like I have to kind of generate anything. Um, it can be a little bit different where you're sort of dropped into a scene and it's a heightened emotion. So there's a, you know, there is, there are certain parts of the show where Jimmy is quite, you know, there's one part in the middle of the show where he's quite violent. And that was a challenge because it's so sudden and so out of nowhere. And I, it was hard for me to understand where that came from within the character, you know? Um, so, but in terms of a process, my, my process is always about, you know, having as intimate a knowledge of the script as is, as is possible, because if it's not in the script, it's not going to translate to the screen. So I'm less interested in knowing, you know, what a character had for lunch on Thursday in, you know, 1992, you know, I'm, I'm more interested in the facts that pertain to the script and how they condition the choices you make. So, you know, knowing about knowing something about a character's relationship with their mother will condition how they react when another character talks about their mother. I'm more interested in those things than kind of like factual research, you know. All right, um, for my last question, I just wanted to ask you, do you have anything else coming soon, maybe this year that you're excited about? I do, I have another project for Apple called Tetris, which I believe will be out this year, but that's not confirmed yet. And that's um, a, the, a, the story of the origins of the video game, which is a, another kind of incredible true story, largely set in Russia. And I've now finished all photography on that. And it's in the process of being finished, but it's looking in really, really good shape. So I'm excited about that too. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Tara, and I hope you have a good day. Yeah, same to you, mate. Thanks for your questions. Thank you.